hello capricorn so this is the bonus monthly reading that i'm doing for you guys so i'm going to be using the spread that i usually do for the weekly but it's going to be for the month of july um we have a couple new decks that we'll be using as well for this reading i'm going to start with the tarot first okay so let's see universe what's the current energy between capricorns and the person that's on capricorn mind for july 2021 Okay, so we got Six of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Star. Okay, so someone is heading towards your direction very quickly in the month of July. This person wants to heal things. They really want to speak to you as well. Universe, the person that's on Capricorn Mind, what would you like to say to Capricorn in July 2021? So the King of Wands. So what they would like to say is that they want to move things forward with you. They want to be more action oriented. They want to prove things with you. Or prove things to you, I mean. Okay. King of Wands is a king of action. So what they want to say is that they're gonna do whatever they're gonna say to do. Okay. So universe, the person that's on Capricorn Mind, why are they keeping hidden from Capricorn in July 2021? Nine of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so what they keeping hidden from you, it could be their feelings but i'm not really getting that okay um this could be someone who have a lot of options okay the nine of cups does represent wish fulfillment they do feel like you are wish fulfillment and i feel like they are going to express that that's why i'm not getting what's hidden i feel like what's hidden is that they may have a lot of options because the nine of cups is like a lot of trophies and um so this person might have a lot of options as well but they see you are you the one that's the best for them okay universe the person that's on capricorn mind how do they feel about capricorn in july 2021 universe the person that's on capricorn mind how do they feel about okay six of wands okay so this person feel like this connection can work okay universe the person that's on capricorn mind what is their true feelings for capricorn harfin yeah this person want to commit to you this could be a new person or this could be someone that you're currently seeing or was currently seeing okay Universe, the person that's on Capricorn Mind, what intentions do they have with Capricorn for July 2021? Universe, hey man, okay? So yeah, they don't want you to go nowhere, okay? Universe, the person that's on Capricorn Mind, what actions would they take with Capricorn? Five of Cups, ooh, let's see what that's, okay. So this could be a past person, Jenna Energy, Six of Cups. So we got the Five of Cups of their actions. So yeah, see what that's about. Universe, clarify the Five of Cups six of pentacles so this is kind of implying what this was implying the nine of cups six of pentacles is about giving and receiving um not giving or receiving, but it's about giving however some time it could be associated with giving to another person as well to two people so let me clarify universe clarify six of pentacles universe clarify six of pentacles knight of cups in reverse universe clarify knight of cups in reverse eight of wands in reverse this person might be inconsistent. It, not, it doesn't necessarily need to need to be that they're dealing with somebody else. But the thing with them, they're inconsistent, okay? One minute that they're all for this connection, the next minute that they're not. Like, you don't... That's the thing with them. They're very incons, inconsistent and inconsiderate as well, too. But I'm seeing this month is like they're rushing in, try to prove a point, try to show you that they can be that man or that woman, you know, show action towards that. And then after it's like, it leads to disappointment again. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So it's like a hot and cold, you know, up and down, on and off type of energy, even in July. Okay, so this person's sign could be a water sign. I got a lot of water here. I got um, Aquarius and fire um aries um leo sagittarius there's cancer here there's taurus as well too okay so let's look at the new deck This deck is pretty. So bully. <laughs> it's a pretty blue color, but it's bully. So probably this person have been draining you. Okay, because that's what bullies do. Drain. And I feel like it's more with their inconsistency. Because you get it. Like, you know, you get, like, happy when they do something that they should be doing. But, and then, 
Lily to disappointment. So this is someone who's very inconsistent. Okay, universe, give me a four card spread. What's going on? What's going to happen in Capricorn's love life in July 2021? So there's Angel, Alchemist. Okay, so that's kind of like Magician Energy. Then there is Advocate and Visionary and Avenger. Okay. So general energy is sabotager. Yeah, this is them. They like to do self-sabotage a lot. I don't know if it's because how they grew up, um, some subconscious block. It could be like learned self self-helplessness. Like, I don't know what's going on with them. But this is someone who likes to self-sabotage a lot, okay? So I'm seeing this month, they're going to do that. They're going to be one minute all in and the next minute, like, inconsistent, okay? Um... And that could be because of them being manipulative with the alchemist, okay? Um, being the magician and then here they're being like a sweet person there. Then we have an advocate. So I feel like this is just with communication. And an avenger. Desire to balance the scales of justice, okay? Trying to make things right with you. Righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. Shadow tribute. Resorting to violence in the name of a cause, okay? And then visionary. Yeah, this is someone who's like saying the right things like you know even like what they're doing in one moment when they're all in is like you really think there's a future you know so this is a, somebody who is very manipulative okay so let's look at the next set okay so universe give me a four card spread what messages do you have for capricorn okay a lot of cards can come through I'm gonna accept some all right so i accept these four so there's love here chaos success and deceit yeah so yeah there is um deceptive energy this is someone who like to have order out of chaos okay they like that type of energy and i feel like you guys are getting to the point where you understand who this person is okay you're not expecting much more from them that this is someone who's very inconsistent Okay, even though you may have deep feelings for them, you know, they are chaotic. Okay, they might promise, you know, things will work out. But in reality, like, they're lying to themselves and you can see, you can see things clearly now. Okay, so let's look at the Capra deck and the Island Times. All right, Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Capricorns pertaining to their love life? in july 2020 actually give me a three card spread what's going to happen in capricorn's love life in july 2021 okay so there's judication house and um bad health family room i feel like you are going to make a final judgment on them because how unstable they are okay it was causing a lot of things to not um work out in the relationship and even like i feel like it was kind of putting your life and your love life on hold by waiting on them by seeing if they're going to step up and be consistent okay i feel like you're going to make this judgment call like an ultimatum basically or you just completely done with them so let's look here All right, so universe, give me a three card spread. What messages? Okay, so we have date, ascending, mass, healthy choices, and consent. Yeah, I'm seeing you guys are going to make the healthy choice and probably disconnect completely because you're focusing on stability. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility, ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union, date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan said date. Um, mass okay so this is another like kind of deceitful energy not showing true feelings high personify pretend delude gaslighting healthy choice healthy choices making healthy choices in love and life self-love self-care being happier cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head okay so let's look here universe give me a four card spread what messages do you have for capricorns pertain to the love life july 2021 okay Universe, give me through my cards. Deceit. Wow, a lot of deceit energy is coming out, okay? Yeah, this could be a karmic for you. 
a karmic soulmate the universe is not throw a test at you to see if you actually ready for a new beginning they're going to come back around if you haven't heard from them and if you are in a connection with them they are going to promise you the world i see that they're going to start you know doing that and then they just gonna like just forget about it or just not be consistent with it okay that's what i'm seeing <laughs> Okay. Okay, so universe, give me a four card spread. What messages? Okay. It all came out reverse, so interesting. Um, material and spiritual prosperity. Mental conflict in, re in reverse. Victory and success in reverse. Partnership and alliances in reverse. Sacral chakra in reverse. And emotional loss in reverse. So I feel like, again, you guys um, are realizing who they are. You're no longer confused about the situation anymore some of you guys are going to walk away and i think that's why all these cards came out in reverse because you want to build a solid foundation within yourself okay this is someone who was like like really making your life probably like unstable okay because of how they was moving and it was affecting you and other things in your life so i feel like a lot of you guys are going to just get out of this connection so you can finally have like this peace of mind this peace restored again okay so let's look at the other deck let's look at the deck okay so universe give me a four card spread what messages you have for capricorn for saying today love life for so there is don't stop look for a sign okay and big happy changes and yeah so yeah the universe trying to say keep on moving forward moving on okay the sign is that this person haven't changed so when you see them come back you sense they doing the same cycle repeat um in the near future this big happy changes is once you finally release and let go of the situation okay so let's look at the oracle So, universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Capricorn between today's love life for July 2021? I got the sun. So, you see things clearly, okay? You, you're you beginning to realize who you are, okay? Scorpio and water. I feel like you guys are taking control back, especially emotionally. Then I got Virgo, okay? you analyzing the situation for what it is. Universe, give me one more card. What messages what message do you have for Sagittarius, okay, you're moving on. So we got to done with the Virgo, Sagittarius, or Leo, or Aries, or Scorpio as well to you. Stay focused, remember where you started. I feel like this is more of you moving on. Remember all the reasons why you're moving on. So when this person tried to, you know, show you that they can be consistent and then they just flip, remember that reason, okay? Remember that it could just be a cycle again. So even if they're doing something good for the moment, see if they're really going to be persistent with it okay remember why you broke up with them or why it didn't work out for the first time or, the, or how many times you try to make things work okay um but i see you guys getting this clarity okay that's what i'm saying so that's the reading that i got for you virgos i said virgos so we got to with virgos <laughs> that's the reading that i got for you capricorns thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing if this video resonates you can definitely book a personal read with me at queen for the tarot at gmail.com